The strings louder. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Switcher T Scored, and today I'm bringing you guys an absolutely amazing gameplay. And I have to say, without a doubt, this is my best gameplay on Infinite Warfare. And this might actually be the best gameplay I get for a really long time. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I've really, really been enjoying playing Infinite Warfare and I love this game so far. And I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. What this is is actually a 40 gun streak, uh, NV4 de-atomizer strike, uh, playing 6v6 domination on the map terminal. A 40 gun streak, you guys. Not only did I get the de-atomizer strike, but I got 16 more kills. And I was literally like really, really close to the second de-atomizer, only about about 10 kills off and uh, that would have been insane I got this stupid death because my my death I think I cut it out of the gameplay but literally I was shooting at the guy I saw him first he already took like two bullets of damage and then somehow he killed me and there was still enough time left in the game probably like another minute or two uh, so I probably actually could have got two deatomizer strikes in one life and uh, that would have literally been insane you guys because as of right now I actually only have six deatomizer strikes and so to get a double would literally be insane I think I had like a couple hundred moabs before I got my first ever double moab uh, so hopefully you guys really really enjoy this gameplay uh, in MW3 I have a 40 plus gun streak like I want to say like 30 or 40 times because I have like 80 days of playtime on MW3 and with the special strike package and the fact that the maps are just so much simpler and uh, you have way more health and stuff, I feel like getting a 40 gun streak in Modern Warfare 3 is so much easier. In a game like Infinite Warfare where you die extremely fast, the maps are really unpredictable, uh, there's wall running and boost jumping and stuff like that, uh, you just die so much easier in this game. Uh, so to get a 40 plus gun streak in this game, I feel like it's way harder. And uh, I can't believe I actually got a 40 gun streak here for you guys. And I like like I said, as of right now, you guys, I have 60 atomizer strikes, and I got all of those in the last week, so I'm really thinking in this game I can drop a lot of deatomizer uh, de strikes if I get lucky, and if I get into good lobbies and stuff like that, so... I'm going to try my best to get a lot more deatomizers for you guys, and I feel like a 40 gun streak though, I really don't know if I'm going to be able to top this one. Uh, Terminal is without a doubt my favorite map in this game. Uh, I can't believe they brought it back from MW3 and MW2, and uh, it's just so easy to play. I know the map extremely well, I know the best spots to use, I know all the spawns and stuff, and uh, I just love this map, so I think that's a big part of why I got a 40 gun streak here in this game. And uh, for the rest of the video today, you guys, I want to give you guys some deatomizer strike tips. And I might not get through all of these, so if I don't finish them, I'm going to try to make another video or two uh, giving you guys some more deatomizer strike tips. So. Uh, the first tip, you guys, is really, really obvious, and that is just you have to actually get a nuclear variant in this game. And the thing that really bothers me is you can't go for a nuclear with every gun in the game, and it's not like the Chem Strike or the Moab uh, from Call of Duty Ghosts or MW3, where the nuke or the, or the Moab or the Chem Strike are just like on your class. Like if you're just playing the game and you happen to get like a 24 or 25 gun streak, you just automatically get it. In this game, you have to actually use a nuclear or legendary variant. And uh, it really sucks because in this game, I've gotten a 24 higher gun streak like four or five times uh, where I wasn't actually using a nuke variant. So all of those lives could have been a, uh, a deatomizer strike, except I didn't actually have the nuclear variant on, uh, which really sucks. And it also limits you because there's only, as of right now, uh, they're starting to add more of them in. But as of right now, there's only like five or six guns in the game that you can actually get a nuke with. And a couple of them are like pistols and snipers and shotguns. And it's like nobody's going to want to try to go for nukes with those. Basically this gun here, the NV4 Fallout, which is the legendary NV4 assault rifle. This is pretty much the gun everyone is going for nukes with. And uh, it just it's so much easier to use a gun like this than like a shotgun or a pistol. So uh, my biggest tip, you guys, if you want to start going for deatomizer strikes, you have to get these nuclear variants. And I think I was already like second or third prestige before I actually got the NV4 Fallout unlocked, which really sucks. And uh, it is good though now that I have it because now I can finally go for those nukes for you guys. And uh, my second tip, you guys, is make your perfect class loadout. Uh, the thing is, I've noticed in this game when I'm only like level 20 or something, I'm actually about to hit 5th prestige right now in only like a month of the game, which is literally insane, but when I don't have my best class loadout, like I don't have my nano shot unlocked, or I don't have my perfect uh, attachments and stuff, 
it makes the game so much more difficult so it depends on what you guys consider your best class loadout everybody has their best attachments uh, their best perks that they that they like to run and stuff so find your favorite class loadout and that's going to make going for a deatomizer strike so much easier if you have your favorite attachments your favorite perks all that sort of stuff it just makes going for these deatomizers way easier so I definitely recommend using the reactive armor, uh, you know, combat rig though. It's so it's so good because you get way extra health. It allows you to take like 10 bullets of extra damage. So uh, if you get into like a tight situation or you find multiple enemies, uh, just pop the reactive armor and it's gonna make uh, it's gonna make it way easier to stay alive. Uh, that's one of my biggest tips there. Also, you guys, I try to run Man at Arms as well because it's uh, it's on the same character as the uh, Reactive Armor. If you want to run the Merc uh, character, you can run Reactive Armor and then also run Man at Arms as well. And that allows you to start out with a ton of ammo. You start out with, like, you know, maximum ammo so you don't have to run, like, Scavenger in this game. And I've actually never run Scavenger to get a uh, Deatomizer Strike, so I feel like just running Reactive Armor and... Uh, the man at arms I feel like that's the best loadout to use for going for the atomizer strikes uh, that's just my personal opinion though and then also you guys out of my 60 atomizers right now I think like three of them are with uh, non-lethals which is UAV counter UAV and advanced UAV and then three of them are with like UAV counter UAV and like the warden I think so I mean it doesn't really matter your your uh, perk or your kill streak loadout that much but I want to say if you do want to go for the atomizer strikes uh, running non lethals is the best because getting the UAV is obviously really helpful and then if you get the counter UAV the enemies won't know where you are and there's going to be like kind of like sitting there and not really knowing what's going on and that makes it way easier to get kills and then obviously the key to the atomizer strikes is the advanced UAV you're going to know exactly where enemies are in the direction that they're moving and uh, it's so it's so much better than just the base UAV. It takes you a lot of kills to actually uh, earn an advanced UAV, but if you want to get a deatomizer strike, I definitely, definitely recommend UAV, counter UAV, and advanced UAV. The non-lethals are the best kill streak setup uh, for deatomizer strikes. So, those are three of my best tips so far, you guys. I'm gonna make another video giving you guys some extra tips for these deatomizers. And uh, my 40 gun streak here is about to come to an end. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed my best gameplay in Infinite Warfare. Peace out, you guys.